any bi bipolar one. Let's say uh, the circuit of it. I'm using a here a P channel MOSFET. This one is a N channel MOSFET, and this one is also N channel MOSFET. This is completely a MOSFET circuit, but it works the same as the half bipolar one from Bedini. Gonna drive on eight volts. Starting an up, and there she goes. As you can see over here, got some good back EMF going in there. Rotor is spinning up. At this moment, it's pulling around 100 milliamps. This is also my last video on this uh, drive circuitry. I had first the EFP channel, N channel, P channel MOSFET, N channel MOSFET. N channel MOSFET and a uh, general transistor small one and here also the Bedini one this one is also one of my favorite because it is basically a dry circuit compared to a reed switch that has on the reed switch on both sides of the coil so it works pretty good and I like to use MOSFET uh, yeah I just like to use them because I don't need to worry about uh, tuning them with a port or whatever. As you can see, got a really nice uh, back EMF going in there. Pulling still just below 100 milliamps. Do, do. Anyway, around 8 volts. This is also my last videos on the, this circuitry uh, setups. These are the 5 I ones I like to use. Next video, I will begin testing all of these coils that are wound. Uh, on this setup over here and we'll take it from there now I have the circuitry I like to work with uh, it's gonna be mostly this one uh, when I find the uh, best possible uh, coil and we'll see how far I can get the efficiency close to unity I will put a link uh, in the description box and also in the comment section where you can find all these MOSFET uh, where I bought them all, where I find them all, for the ones who want to replicate it. I will also try to find a circuitry that is, looks a bit like mine over here online and post a link for it. For the ones who want to test it out. Pulse mode is still the same, running pretty good. Once more, 8 volts at say 100 milliamps. With some good back EMF going in there. Yes. Hope you enjoyed it and as always, thank you for watching.